I've got a new home. Don't you know now, boy, is it way, way up, up in the cave? Way back up in glory, keep telling you how. On cloudy days calls the pilgrim travelers probably black gospel's first showman. Their wild church performances which saw them running off stage and up the aisles in order, in the words of their manager J.W. Alexander, to pull the sisters out of their seats, and their compellingly exciting records with switched lead vocals earned them a big audience. Ray Charles credited as one of his models the Pilgrim Traveler's baritone Jesse Whitaker, when Ray fused hard gospel style to secular themes to create soul music in the 50s. Another giant of soul music Lou Rawls rose from the Pilgrim Traveler's ranks. The group were formed in 1936, when Joe Johnson gathered together a group of young men from Houston's Pleasant Grove Baptist Church and formed the Pilgrim Travelers. As a community-based group, personnel, style, and repertoire changed frequently as they appeared in the area, usually on weekends at church and quartet concerts. Their membership began to stabilize in 1944 when, after winning a quartet competition, they were given the opportunity to travel with the Soul Stirrers. In 1947, Johnson decided to move the group to Los Angeles rather than to Chicago to avoid direct competition with the Soul Stirrers. In Los Angeles they began recording for Bob Jeddon's Big Town label in Oakland and the small Greenwood label operated by Mrs. Greenwood, whose record store was a haven for early quartet singers in Los Angeles. By this point Johnson had turned over the management of the group, returning later with a new group, the Chosen Gospel Singers. Johnson served for many years as an advance man for Herald Attractions, setting up the package gospel tours that filled churches and auditoriums in the 50s. The 378s, the group recorded for Big Town Swing Time featured tenors Kylo Turner, who had worked as a farmer in Cleveland, Texas, and J.W. Alexander, baritones Willie Davis and Isaiah Robinson, and bass singer Raphael Taylor. By the time of their two Greenwood singles Keith Barber, Kylo's cousin, had replaced Davis. The Pilgrim Traveler's new manager was James Woody Alexander. He quickly established an iron grip on the group, coordinating stage behavior, selecting uniforms, and working tirelessly to establish the Pilgrim Travelers as a top gospel draw. In 1948, with specialty records, the Travelers scored successes in the gospel market with their two biggest hits. W. Herbert Brewster's Thank You, Jesus and Mary Lou Coleman's Jesus, with which the Ward sisters also scored a major success in 1949, showcased the group in two of their three styles, Gospel Jubilee and Gospel Ballad. With Jesse Whitaker joining the group in 1947, the classic Pilgrim Travelers lineup, Turner, Alexander, Barber, Whitaker, and Taylor, was in place to make a series of brilliant a cappella recordings at Hollywood's Universal Recorders and Specialty, released a fold of successful 78s. With their specialty hits, the Pilgrim Travelers had become one of the biggest acts traveling the gospel highway. But the dangers of constant traveling came home to the group in 1950, when they had a serious car accident, a head-on collision near Palm Springs, that injured Keith Barber to the extent that his voice was ruined. Although he continued with the group, his great soaring baritone was gone. Changes in the group's lineup began to occur in late 1953. First, a third lead singer, Walter Budget, was added. Originally from the Mississippi Delta, Budget had been a quartet singer all his life, singing first with the Glorylanders of Clarksdale, Mississippi, then being picked up by the Kings of Harmony of Birmingham. While in New York, Budget received the call to join the Pilgrim Travelers in Houston. He stayed with them less than a year, but was on their January 1954 session, contributing the impassioned composition I Love Jesus and singing lead on Jesse Whitaker's In My Heart. While the interplay of Turner and Barber remained the group's main attraction, Budget would be used to lead on some numbers. Not feeling he really fit the group's style, Budget quit to join the chosen gospel singers. 
After Budget left, a major personnel change was the switch in 1954 from the group's original bass singer, Raphael Taylor, to George McKern. McKern was an experienced quartet bass, possessing a rich, deep voice, who'd once worked with the legendary Kings of Harmony of Birmingham. By the mid-50s, things were winding down for the group. One release, Troubled in Mind Every Prayer, which featured Freddie Sims on tenor sax, needed a press statement fending off criticism from conservative elements in the church concerned that the group were jazzing up gospel music. In 1957, the group left Specialty Records and signed with Andex Records, a company owned by the Siamas family. The Pilgrim Travelers had brought in a new lead tenor, Lou Rawls, who had sung earlier with the chosen gospel singers, and another lead from Houston, Ernest Booker. The Pilgrim Travelers recorded 15 gospel tracks for Andex together with some secular songs. Alexander disbanded the Pilgrim Travelers when in 1961 he formed SAR Records with Sam Cooke. But the Pilgrim Traveler's name was taken up a couple of times in the 60s, first when Alexander produced the album The Pilgrim Travelers featuring Lou Rawls for Capitol Records. Soon after Lou was to find pop and R&B success himself. Then a San Diego-based gospel singer James Wafer formed the new Pilgrim Travelers with Jesse Whitaker, Bill White, Bill Bufkin and Lawrence Hambrick, and recorded some singles for Proverb. That group is still going and in recent times, released the album It Had To Be Love, and This Little Light, the Pilgrim Travelers were inducted into the Gospel Hall of Fame in 2001. Although, the original lineup are no longer in existence, they are truly a legend of the Golden Gospel Age.